So you've been washing your hands for 20 seconds, but how long did you take to dry them? And what did you use to dry them? Hi, it's the Snowman inviting you to tune in to Dr. Health Radio this Saturday morning at 9 for an hour of hand hygiene. Learn from an expert who wrote the book, The Handbook, on how to reduce the germs on your hands. Then at 10, Dr. Earl Mendel joins us with nutrients to enhance your immune system. It's David Snow on Dr. Health Radio this Saturday morning at 9 here on AM 690 and FM 94.3. The answer to sell you your home for top dollar, you need a marketing strategy that increases buyer demand and drives up the price. You need Team Lolly. Find them online at teamlolly.com. And for the best advice in selling your home, tune into Team Lolly's Real Estate Show Tuesday evenings at 6 and Sundays at 1. Did you know Island Pet Moors makes moving your pets easy and stress-free? How is that, Carrie? Well, for the last 10 years, we've been moving pets on and off island and actually all around the world. And we do this because we handle the entire pet moving process for you. How exactly does Island Pet Moors allow you to concentrate on your move and not have to worry or stress about moving your pets? Right from the beginning, we contact your vet to make sure that vaccinations and documentation is properly set up for very complex moves, which might be moving from Jakarta to Papua New Guinea. You name it, we've moved many pets to many places. Celebrating 10 years of moving your pets stress-free anywhere in the world and always finding a solution so you don't have to. Visit islandpetmovers.com. At Island Pet Movers, we know your pets are more than just cargo. They're precious cargo because we're more than the airline. Right, Aria? <laughs> You're listening to 94.3 FM and AM 690, The Answer. Listen online at TheAnswerHawaii.com or on the go with The Answer Hawaii mobile app. Tune in, iHeart, or Radio.com. He's here. Now broadcasting from the underground command post. Deep in the bowels of a hidden bunker, somewhere under the brick and steel of a nondescript building, we've once again made contact with our leader, 